There you go. dude all right guys so mj's car is back and uh we are putting a anti roll bar in it because i don't know how bad you could tell in the video uh that it was squatting well it doesn't have any roll bar in it now so i gotta weld those tabs in we gotta clean the frame off weld the tabs in and put the bar in it should be pretty easy but uh we're gonna let it cool off in here for a little bit Cause I'm not even doing shit and I'm sweating, so get some of the fumes out of here. Yeah, I'm putting 93 stink. Huh? The 93 stinks. 93 does stink. So, what's up, dude? What you playing with the car? Uh, go fast with the stock block. Yeah. That's the goal, at least. Any roll bar and then turbo kit. Yeah. Any roll bar, probably enjoy it for a couple weeks. Turbo kit, and then well, I, I want to get this thing. Once the anti roll bars in, passenger seats going back in. Yeah. And then I get to have another big boy ride with me. Yeah. And then we're gonna try to do it and see what goes on from there. And then after that, we're you got some cleaning up to do. We'll start on the turbo kit. Hell yeah. I just threw more shit in here. Hell yeah, cool. dude. All right, we're gonna start fitting up this roll bar after it cools off in here. And I'll show you guys the whole install, what we do with that, because I know there are some other local guys asking me about it. Um, that AC is just blowing hot ass air in here. <laughs> um, and so for Fox Body, all we're gonna do is just kind of clean the frame rails. I need a light. Well, clean the frame rails up in that area. And uh, I think all we're gonna do, what do you think? We're just gonna kind of measure the car because it's squatting right now. I don't want to set it up like a squatting. Yeah, um, I'll have to. Oh yeah, floor in here. It's all right, better than no floor. <laughs> better than no floor. We might have to jack the side up and we might just go off the body. Uh, just measure the body to the. I think measure that side to get measure, measurements from that side and then. Match it? Yeah. That's it. That sounds like a plan to me. But yeah, we're gonna let it cool off in here cause it's fucking hot. So, other than that, the car's coming together good, dude. Put the radiator in it. AN lines and everything. I'm so surprised. I don't want to jinx it. I'm not jinxing anything. Where are you going to jinx? The water pump. No, the water pump's fine. Dude, I can't believe the water pump doesn't leak. Alright, so I welded a dash 16 fitting on the water pump. It's the AN line that's leaking. Oh, is it? Yeah. And the, uh, I was really worried because it's cast aluminum and it... If you guys weld or know anything about welding, welding cast aluminum. I mean, cast anything, cast, yeah. There you go. Hell yeah, we made it over here. Oh, that's Back the timing the pointer. <laughs> um, it sucks to weld cast anything. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to get let this cool off a little bit, let it cool off in here, and then we'll get back to it. Looks good, dude. I like it a lot. Ooh, training cooler's hot. Is it? Must be working. Is it on? Oh, it's not on now, is it? Has it been, is it wired up? Uh, yeah, it's wired. 
Yo, don't be knocking my shit over, okay? <laughs> well, I pulled this one no, off. No, it's cool. <laughs> Alright, so MJ is going to... Line this thing up in here. Set this down, you're probably not going to see shit. Hold this bitch, because I can't do it. That heavy ass bar. Bearing that side. No, it's the other side. No, I don't just care. <laughs> Yeah. You mean hold it? Oh my god. Nobody made fun of my socks and sandals in the last video. They're, well, they're pretty rough today. They are rough today. Oh. These are my uh, 20,000 mile <laughs> socks. <laughs> oh, it's fucked. I need to grind the uh, paint off. No, I know that. That's what I mean. You gotta line it up. I wanted to show the people. <clears throat> so I guess I gotta get a light. This is killing me without the uh, the tripod. Well, where'd you put it? I don't know. Uh, oh, jeez, that's so far up. Yeah, it is. Okay, wrong way. I don't right. know how to work the flashlight. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this your trans breather? Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was. You're a fucking car. Hoosier. <laughs> You're such a Hoosier. I was driving the car and I was like, I think that trans breather lung. Actually, you just want to clean it off to start with, probably? Yeah. All right. That's... Okay. So right in... It goes... Yeah, better. nice. All right. So MJ's going to clean that off. And then we are... Uh, I'll show you guys how we... Uh, put it up there and center it and line it up and uh, then after that just tack it on make sure it's good and level square with the car welder in and then after that we'll uh, line it up with the rear end Ladies and gents, I don't know why I'm saying ladies, ain't no ladies watch this, but uh, I guess Michaela does. Hey, my mom. Hey, my mom. <laughs> hey, mom. Sorry. Um, this roll bar was made for another car. For another car that I want to say did not have stock style suspension, probably. Because, well, at least, I don't know how to explain this shit. All I know is I can tell you guys that these arms are too long. Uh, this car, this roll bar was on another car. MJ got a deal on it uh, through the guy that we use for all of our chassis stuff. And uh, these are, what did I say, an inch and a half or two inches longer? Inch and, inch and a half longer than the arms that are on my car. And I'll show you guys. If I can get up. Getting old, MJ. I yeah, I know. I'm trying to gain weight. Um, so in my car, I'll show you guys. You can just, I mean, visually see how much shorter this arm is, but it already comes close to the shock, and you know, maybe a quarter inch we'd be able to do. It'd be very close then, instead of just sort of close. <laughs> But, uh, you know, an inch and a half, it's going to run into that no matter what. And uh, the reason I already racked my head on the wing earlier. I like to say that there's no chance that this bar is going to fit. So we're probably just going to come back to this video in like three years. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> However long it takes. hopefully pretty soon and get this bar on. And uh, it's pretty simple. Other than that, you would just, we would put the bar in there and... I know originally we made this 
bar level and the car is sagging right now because there's a lot more weight on the driver's side and there's no anti-roll bar in it. Um, what we would do is since we made this level before, we would just jack that side of the car up till this is level, get this bar square and level in there. And I guess I'm, you know, I'm probably just gonna show you guys that when we get it back. Um, but all you would do is just measure off this bulkhead fitting up here, right where that hole is, to the bar, to the center of the bar underneath, and uh, just make sure that's square, make sure it's level uh, with the car, and then other than that, tack it on, make sure it didn't move, you know, take all your measurements again, weld it in solid, and then after that, normally, you know, this would be up a lot further, you'd be able to raise this arm up, and uh, at that point, um, yeah, put your heim joints on it so they would sit. This is where the old one was. The old anti roll bar uh, tabs were on this rear end. I think that's what they. I'm assuming they were. Same bolt size, and everything. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, this would go up to the anti roll bar, the other arm like this, and we're gonna probably weld more tabs down here, which we got the tabs. Here, we'll just have to cut them off and uh, weld those to the rear end. And then after that, uh, that's about it. Just weld it all solid, make sure all the measurements are good and stuff. And then uh, we would set the car with MJ in it. And after that, it's it. So uh, I will probably just end this video here. Well, I'll probably just wait to post and just, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Well, <laughs> We'll see if we do more shit tonight. If not, I'll uh, I'll continue this video in another part, and uh, hopefully the next clip is us bullshitting around. But if not, then we'll see you guys in the next clip. You tell him what we're doing? No, you want to tell him? Why didn't you tell him? Are you done in here? I think so. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. 
so going to drop this tart off so that somebody can make an anti-roll bar fit but we'll see how that works out how long of a drive is it like 40 minutes 45 yeah the way we're gonna go it's gonna be like 30. yeah car looks so good stopping to get diesel uh yeah, probably. Right. Well, well. Explain something. We'll, explain what? The anti-roll bar doesn't fit and somebody needs to make it fit. That ain't me. I don't know how to do that shit. It ain't me either. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't me either. Yeah. Obviously. All right. Yeah, we'll get back to you guys when we get down there. And... We might film shit, but I yeah. don't know how he'll feel about it. We're gonna film no matter what. You can explain to the people. We didn't film anything. <laughs> don't. All right, what's going on, everyone? So, I am gonna show you guys the finished product of the uh, Annie Roll Bar and MJ's car. And I'm looking for my light right now, so. Uh, yeah, it turned out awesome. Uh, the buddy of ours that works at the chassis shop, uh, obviously, I mean, it's fucking awesome. But we were mocking it up and uh, it didn't even cross our minds to put it going forward. <laughs> um, didn't cross our minds for it to go forward. That's all he did. Um, so, all the welds, I mean, are fucking like perfect. I can't really get up in there right now because I'm stuck on the floor. But yeah, he set the car up, got the rear end squared, and uh, got the pinion angle right and everything. I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I guess this is an option to run it forward, and there's no problem with that. I just didn't know. Um, didn't really cross my, <laughs> cross my mind. And, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. So, I am, uh, me and MJ are both real happy with it. And now, you know, he can drive the car. And now we can start tuning it. And, uh, I think my break away from all this stuff is over. I'm going to start getting back into it. And, uh, we had a little hiccup towing on the way over there so there's going to be some diesel upgrades and towing videos here in the future but uh probably pretty soon there's a lot of shit i gotta fix on that thing but hopefully this gives you guys some ideas um if you guys are gonna make any roll bar or whatever i don't know uh you know a lot of suspension stuff i just i just make shit in my garage it's kind of hard for me to figure stuff out uh because i don't know what works and what doesn't um I just like to make stuff. <laughs> um, so along with that, we are going to be making some tuning adjustments, getting this thing tuned right. Uh, but the next thing, besides just putting like a base tune on this, is he's going to turbo it, and the turbo's going to go, you know, right here. I'm going to explain all this in the other video, but turbo's going to go right here. He's going to put a four-inch exhaust dump that's going to end up probably down here. And then we're gonna put a five inch intercooler. I'm gonna make another intercooler uh, to put in here. And yeah, it should turn out awesome. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna start getting back after it and uh, start doing some, some more shit. I know I've kind of taken a break the last couple months, but uh, yeah, hopefully getting back after it here soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next.